Good morning, everyone. Happy fall and welcome to your weekly cup of joe. This week, we're going to continue on with our shoulder focus um, and shoulder pain. We've had lots of questions uh, regarding shoulder pain lately. Not sure exactly why, but one of our questions comes specifically from a former client of ours, Jimmy, um, who wrote, I've had shoulder pain for years and I know it, and I know I need to strengthen my arm and my shoulder, but uh, can you show me some basic, good basic exercises to start with? So Jimmy, we can definitely do that. Um, going back to our stretches that we talked about last week and working on good posture. So check out that uh, video uh, blog last week that we did focusing on posture and stretching exercises will definitely help, but some strengthening exercises for sure that you can do, or just basically that being upright position and gently pulling your shoulder blades back. So like we talked about before, and you'll see here on the side, being in that good upright position with ears, shoulder and trunk. All right. Typically we're here. So you just want to sit up in good position and you want to gently squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. One of the main things you want to focus in on is not to shrug your shoulders up as you do it. They're just coming straight back. So if you can do it in front of a mirror, it works really, really well. Another good exercise is to take that to the next level, that exercise, and you can take a band, which I have a really long one, and you can just wrap it around your hands Put your arms out about chest height, nothing higher than shoulder, but typically chest height works really well. So you're not shrugging your shoulders as you're doing the exercise. Arms are fairly full extended. They can have a slight bend, but pretty much extended out in front of you. And you're pulling that band apart. At the very end, you're gently squeezing those shoulder blades together. You're trying to get that band to touch your chest. All right, slow and controlled. You wanna be equal going left and right, and you wanna be slow going out, and you wanna be slow going back because the band's gonna to wanna to snap you coming back in. But slow and controlled, in and out. So it's another good exercise to do. All the exercises that I'm gonna show you, the three uh, strength exercises, do two to three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. So we're getting over 20. That's the goal. You want to get over 20 repetitions. So like I said, two to three sets of 12 to 15 repetitions. All right. So the next one we're going to do here, I'll move this to the ground here. And I've got a pillow here, but you can use a towel roll and fold up in half like a, uh, Basically a hand towel works really well, just so you can have something for your forehead and you can breathe. All right, and you can lay on your stomach with your arms next to you. And I turn my head to the side so you can hear me. And you're just going to squeeze the shoulder blades and lift the hands a little bit off of the floor. The emphasis here again is you want to make sure that you're equal on left and right sides, that they come up and they go up and down evenly. If it seems to be pretty easy for you, you can take soup cans, one pound weights, two pound, whatever, and you can put them in your hand and do the same thing. I'm going to put my head down this time so you can kind of see it. All right. Excellent. I'm going to move out just a little bit further so I think you can get a better picture of that. All right. 
One other stretch that we didn't show last week that you can do since you're on the floor and you want to work on stretching the chest out is just laying on your back. We prefer with your knees bent, but you can have them straight and you just put your arms out to the side and you just work on some deep breathing. So. For most individuals, because we're so rounded, you're gonna feel like your shoulders are up oof, off the floor. You're not actually able to touch them. And if you don't have to have a, uh, a pillow, you don't have to, and you're gonna feel like, oh, I can't touch my back and my shoulders to the floor. So we just put those arms out there and just really try to get that to stretch out and relax. So just being in this position sometimes is a really, really good stretch. And like I said, you can get to a doorway throughout the day, but if you're out, if you're down doing some exercises, that works extremely well. So as we talked about before and last week, getting in the doorway with your arms up and arms down is another great stretch to complement these strengthening exercises. Uh, so to review uh, some, some things, stretching and strengthening exercises, posture, and with that posture, just kind of thinking about setting an alarm, resetting your posture every 20 or 30 minutes throughout the day. All right, it's a great start. Um, if you have any more questions about that or would like to come to our shoulder pain workshop, it's gonna be next Tuesday night, the 27th, from seven o'clock to eight o'clock. Both gonna be in person and a Zoom uh, options as well. So we'll get that all straightened out for you. Yeah, whatever comfort level you feel you wanna be at, uh, joining us that night. All right, last week I asked you to work on not being judgmental and I hope that went well. This week we're gonna focus in or I want you to focus in on being positive and thinking more positivity or being more positive, I should say. So I want you to be that glass half full person versus the glass half empty person. There are so many things in this world that we cannot control, but one of the things that we definitely can control, it may be a small one, but it's a very important one, is our attitude. So if you have a positive attitude, you can affect a lot of people and having a positive attitude can be very, very infectious. So I want you to go out and be infectious this week and have a positive attitude more times than not and really try to think about that and be conscious of it, all right? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give the clinic a call at 630-892-8003. The registration link for the uh, uh, workshop will be below this video as well, and we hope to see you next time on your weekly cup of Joe. Bye.